New additions to the park, like this soccer field, are continuing to be added. The city has plans to add an amphitheater for its future musical events with its festivals. Tavar will be leaving her mom duties to Boston College on Thursday night. Her husband and kids will be supporting her from back home. It only took Lydia a little less than a year to create a safe place where people could stay fit and enjoy themselves while meeting other people. With the continuing rise of opioid usage and fentanyl deaths, health officials hope there will be a quick end to the trend before it becomes a social norm. Reporting for Valley View News, I'm Giovanni Galvez. Being a mother is no easy task. Having a job where you must travel across the country every weekend makes being a mother even harder. This is Karina Tovar's life. You miss your family, you miss your kids. I think, you know, my husband and I, we're, you know, we're grown enough to know that I'll see you on Monday, right? Um, I think it's hard for the kids. Being a football mom and a professional referee has its pros and cons. Sometimes that means not being able to see her boys playing football. Really, really put the effort in to just pick them up, be with them, spend as much time as possible, come out to practices. I mean, although I'm with football all day. When Sunday nights roll around, her boys, Isaac and Isaiah Del Cid, know mom will be back home. For Tovar, Sundays mean she could spend time with her family. Well, um, when she gives me a hug uh, after school, um, and um, sometimes um, she plays with me. They are going to run next to her. Tovar's husband, Randy Del Cid, says she's an inspiration. What she's doing is uh, it's great. It's, it's a good time for her to 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 come up, and it's uh, you know she's really good. Tovar will be leaving her mom duties to Boston College on Thursday night. Her husband and kids will be supporting her from back home. I'm Giovanni Galvez, Valley View News. The recent death of Los Angeles teens from fentanyl overdose is brought to light the dangers of opioid use. A newly released report from the LA Public Health Department found that 1,504 people died from fentanyl overdose last year. Now some fear the use of opioid is so frequent that they may become normalized. College basketball player Dylan Barriento, who was prescribed opioids by his doctor, he says recreational use is dangerous. Yeah, I don't think people should be using them because, you know, it's like very addicting. So like, yeah, you just end up in a bad spot if you keep on taking them. Barrientos took opioids to treat severe pain after getting his appendix removed. He said the warning labels on the drugs made him reluctant to take them. It said like addictive, so then I was like, oh, I don't really want to like get into this. So then I only took one. It made me feel sluggish. It made me like just go to sleep, and I didn't really feel good when I used them. Dr. Gary Sai specializes in addictive substances for Los Angeles County. He says the county's opioid epidemic preceded the COVID pandemic. Someone who's using pain medications on a regular basis can be at increased risk for dependency. With the continuing rise of opioid usage and fentanyl deaths, health officials hope there will be a quick end to the trend before it becomes a social norm. Reporting for Valley View News, I'm Giovanni Galvez. He likes to ride his bike, but he's only come to our house. Fitness has always been a part of Lydia Garcia's life. So when it came to giving back to the childhood community, she created a Lululemon club run. When I approached Lululemon, my intention was to create a community run that was inclusive and really invited the community from, from all aspects. As club membership expanded, Garcia grew into her role as its creator. Jesus Leon says she has become a caring leader. She looks out for everyone. Like, Instead of just running just all out, we wait for everyone to catch up. We make sure we finish together so people feel like, like, like they're wanted there, like we actually think about them. Clarissa Hernandez says Garcia's personality and kindness makes it easier for people to join the club. The club is a safe place for them to enjoy themselves. Well, even though I'm the community lead, she's the lead person for this group. Um, she's just like very comforting, very community oriented. She was made for this. <laughs> it only took Lydia a little less than a year to create a safe place where people could stay fit and enjoy themselves while meeting other people. She hopes that her influence will continue to touch other people to join the club. The club run will continue every Wednesday starting at 6.30 here in Pasadena. I'm Giovanni Galvez, Valley View News. The city of La Puente spent roughly $20 million in the last two years repairing La Puente Park. The renovated park opened in June. Now, visitors rave about how much better it is. 
Alexis de la Rocha says the money was well spent. I think that the money that's been invested to this park is 100% worth it. I think that us as human beings, it's really important to be healthy and happy in our hearts, and that in nature and in community is always a go. Darla Maese believes the community and city workers did a great job refurbishing the park and keeping it clean. I have my kids enrolled in activities here at the park. It's super safe, super clean. Every morning you'll see people, the workers cleaning, taking off graffiti anywhere they see. This place is immaculate. During the summer, weekly events were held. And for Halloween, there was a trick or treat event for the first time. Director of Community Services for the park, Alex Bauman, says people can enjoy the park in safety. Sure, so yeah, we have a brand new park and you can't just let it sit here and go unused, right? The idea is that you want the right kind of people in the park so that the wrong type of people don't come here, right? You keep it busy, you keep it active, families feel safe, and more people start showing up. New additions to the park, like this soccer field, are continuing to be added. The city has plans to add an amphitheater for its future musical events with its festivals. Reporting for Valley View News, I'm Giovanni Galvez. The Los Angeles Lakers hosted the Portland Trailblazers during their latest game at the Crypto.com Arena. The tense matchup came down to the last few possessions, but Lakers star LeBron James failed to hit the game-winning three-pointer in the final three seconds. James led the team with 31 points, followed by power forward Anthony Davis with 22 points. The final score was 104 to 106. The Lakers' next game is on Tuesday at 7 p.m. in Denver against the Nuggets.